I'm going to vlog for you today, as you can see. Um, oh, there's people! It must be lunchtime there. I am on my way to two different Walgreens. I am on the hunt for the new Fergie lipsticks that have just come out. And I did not know until my girl, Gaudilicious Mommy, said something on um, Instagram to me. So I do have to be to work at 3 o'clock today, which blows, but I kind of don't mind today because I got to cook myself like the biggest breakfast ever. I had sausage links and eggs and toast and um, water with lemon. And it was delicious. I'm getting good, like I'm getting better <clears throat> at cooking. And um, uh, I don't mind it as much. So I'm kind of, I'm self teaching myself since my mom never taught me because her mom died when she was young. So she kind of self taught herself and she never really got into it. So I'm self teaching myself and you know, trying to make some cool stuff. I did make like this freaking taco rice thing that I found a recipe online for the other day and it turned out so amazing and so yummy. Oh, my arm is getting so tired holding up my camera. Um, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram or Tumblr, um, I do have like an update. You guys are getting my double chin angle right now because my arm is tired. But anyway, I posted a video on Instagram and I posted like a rant on Tumblr for everybody to see the problem that I have been having with my P.O. box. Long story short, since day one, literally, I have had nothing but problems trying to get my P.O. box situated. Um, at first the combination didn't work so they gave me another one and then they got mad because I had the other one and somebody else was in that one and it wasn't done yet and blah 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 uh, and then I don't know like there's just numerous things that I can't even name to tell you guys that I have had problems with that place um, I am so so angry because I just I like all of my package that goes there packages that go there are addressed to Pink Sparkles in its P.O. Box 144, Ferrysburg, Michigan, 49409. I know my address by heart. I'm not stupid. And I thought, you know, maybe something was wrong. Like, they just got rid of my stupid P.O. Box for some reason without telling me, even though I clearly paid them for it. Um, <clears throat> it's automatically debited out of my bank account every six months. I pay every six months. So with that being said... Every package that I have ever received to my P.O. box has said Pink Sparkles on it. And I have received numerous packages. It's not like, you know, I get one package every couple of months. I, have, I usually receive anywhere from 5 to 10 packages a month. And they're always, always, always addressed to Pink Sparkles, okay? Now, with that being said, I went in there yesterday because somebody sent me <clears throat> a, a, new, a newer makeup company sent me an email a couple weeks ago and said, hi, I would love for you to pick a product and review it on your YouTube channel. So I was like, awesome. I'd love this opportunity. So I gave them my PO box address because I'm not going to give my real address out just so you guys know, like for safety reasons. You guys can trust me because I have no desire whatsoever to actually go hunt somebody down once they give me their address, so it's not really a big deal. Um, I'm a very trusting person, it's just I've had problems in the past with people, so I don't give out my real address. I have a P.O. box for things. Anyway, so <clears throat> Susie, who um, sent me a thank you card, took a picture of the package that got sent back to her saying it was attempted in it was unknown and they sent it back to her and then a couple days later the makeup company that wanted me to review some of their products took a picture of their package and sent it to me showing that it had gotten sent back to them as well so I was really pissed off when the makeup company showed me that picture I was mad about Susie's package too but I was thinking that maybe it was um, her post office end like maybe they did something wrong because the address was absolutely right now, with that being said, I did go in there yesterday, and I was throwing a fucking fit, and I was like, 
is there a problem with my P.O. box? And he's like, no, why? And I said, because I've been, I said, I've had, I have had four people now send a package to me and it got sent back. And I said, I am the only one who's ever had that box. Like it has never even been registered to another person now that they got it all figured out and switched out. And he's like, well, what's the name on the box? So I told him my first and last name. I said, or Pink Sparkles. And he's like, oh, I didn't know Pink Sparkles was on there. I said, well, are there rules that like, I can't put my online alias on my mail that comes here? I said, because I don't give like my real name out to everybody. And he's like, no, you can put whatever you want on there. Oh my God, this guy's going 30 and a 50 right now. So distracting. Um, so anyway, I freaking asked the guy, I'm like, okay, well, if I can put any name on there that I want, how come my packages are getting sent back? And he said, well, what packages are getting sent back? I said, every package that's addressed to Pink Sparkles. And he's like, oh yeah, I remember seeing that. And um, I've been sending them back because I didn't recognize that name. And I was like, uh, how do you not recognize that name? That's the only... All of my packages that come here are addressed to Pink Sparkles. Somebody is going to cause an accident. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I was like, all, all of my packages come addressed to Pink Sparkles. They always have. They always will. And he's just like, well, that wasn't noted on the box. The only name that's noted on your box is your real one. And I was like, sir, I have received like 30 packages here at least in the past couple of months addressed to Pink Sparkles and they made it here just fine. I said, but you're going to put other people's mail in my box that don't go in my box, but you'll send the ones back that actually go to me? And he's like, well, I didn't know. He's like, I'll have you write it down and then we'll note it on your mailbox. So hopefully... Hopefully this shit is fixed because I am so freaking sick and tired of my post office. Like, I can't even explain to you how mad I am. Like, I so want to burn that place down right now. And the fact that, like, all of my friends and all these companies are being inconvenienced to send me things just makes me even madder. It's not even about me. It's about the fact that I don't know if you have to actually pay um, to resend it once it gets sent back. Because, like... You have to pay, obviously, to get it out if it's, you know, bigger than an envelope, whatever size, and you need a stamp. I think you actually have to get a new envelope and a new stamp if you send me a letter and you have to resend it. So, it is such an inconvenience, and I'm so done with it right now. This was their last straw. If they mess anything else up for me, I'm going to tell them that you need to refund my money. I've had nothing but issues. And I have even contacted the post, like USPS.com customer service. I have been on there 13 times and sent them an email 13 freaking times. And they still like nothing ever fucking gets done right. So it's not just my post office. It's USPS.com too. And you know, the post offices, USPS period they wonder why they're not getting any money and they're losing business It's because they fucking suck obviously if I do get rid of my PO box there I will um, be going a couple towns over to another post office that I know of they're twice the price every six months but there's probably a reason for that because they probably have their shit together so hopefully hopefully I can you know just have no problems with a new P.O. box, but it's so inconvenient because everybody already has my address and I have to change it and then let everybody know that I changed it, but I'm going to try to keep this one no matter what and hope for the best, but there's no promises. Um, I'm going to two Walgreens right now and I am almost to the first one and traffic is everywhere and the town that I'm in right now is so uppity and people are so snooty, so... I am going to let you guys go and I will chat with you in a little bit because the Walgreens is right around the corner. Okay, so I just got done with the first Walgreens and I got a free sample of the Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in Ivory which I already actually own the entire tube of this but there's a coupon on it for $1 off so when I want to get another one. 
Um, I saw a new CoverGirl display in there, and um, I've never seen this before. There's not much information on it, but this is the... Oh, I can't even read. Everything is so small. It just says CoverGirl Colorlicious number 650 in Plumlicious. This is gorgeous! I want to try it out right now. But I still have another Walgreens to go to, and if I look ridiculous, I don't want to, like, somebody's watching. I don't want to have, like, this ridiculous color on. So I did get this. This was, like, $7 or something. And then I also got um, my favorite is favorite is color of the Rimmel Stay. I'm sorry, the Rimmel Stay Glossy <clears throat> 3D Glitzy Gloss in the color Nonstop Glamour. And it is just this gorgeous nude. This is the best drugstore lip gloss I have ever found. And then I also got the e.l.f. lip balm tint in the color nude. I um, These were only $2. And uh, I heard really good things about these. And they're supposed to be like a lip treatment. Provide sheer hydrating color. This coconut grape shea butter and rice wax infused formula conditions lips on contact for lasting comfort. The lightly tinted balm gives the perfect flush of color for a beautiful natural look. I've heard a lot of good things about that. Um, and back to this stuff, it was a dollar off today at Walgreens if you guys want to check it out. Oh, I got some coupons in here too, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I do. Now that I'm going to the other Walgreens, I'll use those. Bye! Hey! Walgreens number two is down. Um, it's weird how my Walgreens, like, are so different. Um, I got all lip products this time. I got another Maybelline Color Elixir in the color Luminous Lilac. I got Lux Lilac last time. This one's more of a pinky purple. The other one's, oh look at that, I got a little bit too much on. The other one's more of a violet purple. Um, so I don't know, I think I might like the other one a little bit better. And then I also got uh, Color Whisper. I only own one Color Whisper since my phone ran out of memory. Um, I did get a color whisper. I don't care for these, so like I said, that's why I only have one. But it is in the color Ooh La Lilac. Ooh La Lilac, yes. And it just looks like this. Um, I've seen this one a lot on um, a lot of YouTube beauty gurus, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And then this was like $3, originally $8, and it is the color Pink Chick. Um, by Rimmel London. It is their Moisture Renew and it looked very pretty so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, that's all I got at Walgreens. Um, still haven't found the Fergie lipsticks and it's driving me crazy so I am headed over to my Rite Aid in hopes that they've changed their displays finally and um, I can maybe find some of the new stuff there. Hey! I am finally driving home. I'm about to pull in Z driveway. And I know my tank pad is supposed to be delivered to my house today, my new tank pad for my bike. It's the same one I had last time, but it wouldn't stick anymore after we took it off to redo the paint job. So, <clears throat> I'm waiting on that to be delivered. And um, I did go to Rite Aid. Um, I got a few things. Somebody must have put like a $5 off coupon on one of the Physician Formula products that didn't belong on there because um, there was one on what I got, but it said it was for like a bronzer or something. Oh my god, my hair. Um, so I did get the uh, multicolored blush in Blushing Berry that looks like this. They were buy one, get one free. And then I also got the Cover Tax 10 or Cover, Cover Tox 1050 Wrinkle Therapy Face Powder powder. Um, I'm not like huge, like I don't think I really have like weird wrinkles or wrinkles or whatever, but um, it says that it's supposed to be a flawless and like I don't know if you guys can see that, but like it shows a before and after and I was like, hey, that looks pretty good. So maybe it'll make me look miraculous. And I am wearing that lipstick that I vlogged. It's the CoverGirl um, Colorlicious Lip Gloss. Um, I like the texture. Um, it's very bright, so I can't complain. Um, I also got the Demeter Fragrance Library in Earl Grey Tea. Um, this was originally like six, $6 or something, and I got it for $1.24. And I also got... <laughs> 
this ink pen. I am so obsessed with ink pens. It weighs like 20 pounds. It's a Pentec and it was $6.99 and I got it for $1.49 and I love ink pens so says, and that's all that I got today. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog and until next time I'm gonna buy more lip gloss. Mwah!